It's been over two years since Honor separated from Huawei, and while there are some leftover design language still in existence, Honor is firmly striking out on its own, branching out from its initial Chinese and mid-tier markets. Its second global flagship has just arrived at Mobile World Congress in 2023, so let's meet the Honor Magic 5 Pro. I want to sort of get into a two goods and a bad scenario with you guys because with every good thing that you get, there are sometimes might be something that doesn't quite hit the mark. But when it comes to the Honor Magic 5 Pro, the goods without having fully reviewed the phone yet seem to at least on paper outweigh the bads. Building on last year's Magic 4 Pro, there's something extremely familiar about the Magic 5 Pro. The circular camera housing is still the focus point of Honor's new design language. Complete with a new Antony Gaudi inspired glass curvature, it's really stunning to look at and I have a hard time thinking thinking of anything comparable. If you can think of something, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And while you're down there, you know, you could hit the thumbs up button. That would absolutely be amazing. But back to the task. The glass back gradually slopes around the camera lens and really makes this a fun phone to look at. We got the meadow green. Another option though is black. Usually I'm a fan of black phones, but when it comes to the Magic 5 Pro, if you hate fingerprints, the meadow green is by far the better option as the black is a glossy finish while this one is matte. One of the bright points to the build of the Magic 5 Pro is actually the quality of life design aspects. The ergonomic quad curve design ensures that there are no sharp corners with this one. Honor says that uh, this makes the large 6.81 inch display easier to hold and use in one hand. That's certainly true, but the trade-off is the edge of the display, which is sometimes awkward to use. Now, we know many of you don't really care for curved displays, so at least this gives us something to talk about in the comments section. But jokes aside, uh, I don't mind this one actually, and it felt premium in my hands. I, I had no problem with the size. This big boy actually felt just right. Now, when it comes to the specs behind the design, that takes me to my second good point about the Magic 5 Pro. That's the premium spec sheet. And as you can see here, you get tons of premium display, premium processor, plenty of storage, tons of RAM, and one of the biggest batteries that you're gonna find in a flagship so far this year. And if you paid attention to the spec sheet, you're gonna see a theme forming. This phone is ultimately a premium product made with some of the most quality parts. And it doesn't stop with just the internals. That curved display we talked about, it's 120 hertz LTPO AMOLED panel there. Uh, though we don't really know exactly how low the variable re refresh rate goes. And you'll want a great display for looking at all those photos that you're gonna take. We weren't able to grab any photos images just yet, but at least when it comes to the hardware stats, this phone has enough to really impress on paper. You get a one by 1.2 inch sensor on the 50 megapixel wide. You get a 50 megapixel ultra wide, a 50 megapixel periscope, lots of 50 megapixel cameras there, as well as a 12 megapixel wide angle F2.4 selfie cam. In other words, this is a decked out premium beast. Hell, I'm even selling myself on this phone just based off of the stats, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Remember, like I said earlier, most good things come with an inverse and sometimes sticky negative notes. And even when it comes to the, the camera, you know, Google has proved that hardware really isn't everything. You can have the best camera hardware, but if your software is, well, soft, then your phone might flop. Now getting into the bad, well, the choice that they made to only go with two years of Android OS updates and four years of assured security updates make me wonder just how confident that Honor really is in this phone. The Honor Magic 5 Pro will retail for 1199 euro, which puts it firmly in competition with the Samsung S23 Plus. And when you've got Samsung offering updates till the cows come home and Google with a bit more on the table, it might make some people second guess this device as well. So honor, if you make a solid product, you know, stand behind it. And the practice of minimal OS updates just doesn't seem to make sense here. Pair all of that with the fact that this phone will only be available outside of North American markets and there are definitely questions to be asked and answered. As I see it, 
This phone should be performing well beyond two years and you're gonna want your OS to be up to date as well to go along with that, wouldn't you? I know I would. But that's all that I've got for this hands-on, folks. Let me know, does this phone motivate you to shell out your hard-earned shed? Or are you pinching your pennies for something else? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. But until next time, guys, I'm Ryan from Authority Media. Be kind and we'll see you on the next one.